assalamu alaikum these are the very important questions in pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry okay just i modified the video uh, means some important questions have added in this video because uh, i think those are also very important for your tomorrow's examination of pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry so please don't miss the video the video is very important watch the video until last in this video we will discuss inshallah 10 marks and 5 marks very important questions okay and these questions are enough for your exam any university of pharmacy if you are your for your university is linked with the pci pharmacy council of india no worry they are same questions let's start uh, first with the 10 mark of our questions uh, first question is define and classify limit test here see i have told you limit test plays a vital role here first you have to write what is this limit test then you classify some of the limit tests clear then they will ask a particular limit test okay they will ask iron limit test or arsenic heavy metals sulfate or chloride limit test from this five only your question paper will be framed in this five limit test only okay they will want to go beyond this limit test simple limit tests are there you have to write a principle procedure reactions and the reagent used what reagent you are using no and that reagent uses also you have to remember clear then uh, the second question define and classify antacid give a method of preparation and assay for the antacid see method of preparation it is also very important here first you have to write what is this antacid then you have to classify those antacids antacid systemic and non systemic then preparation you have to give a complete preparation of the sodium bicarbonate with one more preparation you have to give one more preparation of non systemic antacid that is of the aluminum hydroxide okay what gelucil you are using no gelucil is a composition of aluminum hydroxide then discuss clinical and therapeutic application of radio pharmaceuticals first you write what is this radio pharmaceuticals then you write characteristics of the radio pharmaceuticals okay after that you go for application application should be in a minimum application 20 application you have to explain in a very uh, define and definite way and in a good way 20 applications particularly here okay and compulsory if page remains means uh, now five pages you four pages have completed one page remains means uh, then you write up some uh, note on isotopes uh, okay then procedure principle assay for some assay i will give you just practice these assays see ferrous sulfate assay first you have to write what is this ferrous sulfate uses of this ferrous sulfate molecular formula means feso4 then it is also known as green vitriol okay sometime they will ask write assay of a green vitriol don't confuse green vitriol is nothing but ferrous sulfate clear now next one is a copper sulfate or blue vitriol barium sulfate or white vitriol ammonium chloride okay or it is expectorant they will ask write assay on of expectorant also you will write the same this one which one ammonium chloride then chlorinated lime lime sorry chlorinated lime it is then hydrogen peroxide and boric acid boric acid chlorinated lime hydrogen peroxide boric acid these are the antiseptics or anti microbial agents if they will ask write a note on or assay of anti microbial agent means you can write any one from this just understand the question the questions are very easy just they will confuse one or two questions not whole questions are confused one or two explain the functions of major physiological ions and functions functions of major physiological ions means first you have to classify uh, all the major physiological ions like sodium potassium calcium phosphorus magnesium okay then you have to write particularly about the the calcium then about the sodium about the magnesium what the role of the calcium in the human body what the role of the sodium in the human body what happens if excess of sodium get deposited and decrease in the sodium get deposited iodine value okay if a decrease in iodine what happens it leads to some of the thyroid diseases goiter diseases everything you have to write it down then buffers mechanism and applications buffers also very important you write what are these buffers and mechanism of buffers in the pharmacy and also application of buffers in the pharmaceutical aids or the pharmaceutical preparations yes sir now those are uh, six or ten mark question from these only your ten marks questions are asked maybe sometime they will select from the five marks just uh, look uh, over beyond that assay of a sodium chloride i have told you sodium chloride assay is also a very important one clear next one is uh, sources of impurities sources of impurities this is also a unique question asked many times in your previous year question papers then write a chloride limit test yes we know that then classify dental products role on fluorides in dentistry means dental products you have to classify first you write what are these dental products 
okay then you have to classify those some of the dental products like you are using that uh, um, paste uh, brushes okay then flocks everything you have to classify write uh, something about that uh, 1122 line you write after that the main important thing is role of fluorides in dentistry what is the role of this fluoride you are observing a maximum paste containing this fluoride as the chemical okay fluoride and one percent should be fluoride in your water drinking water if it exceeds means it leads to the many diseases if it de 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 decrease also it leads to the many diseases so only one person should be there in your water fluoride okay that only what's the fluorides uh, role in the dentistry you have to write it down next one various electrolytes used in replacement ther therapy which electrolytes we are using no due to the replacement therapy if our body needs some of the electrolytes means through dns or ns we are supplying that dns ni's constitute some of the electrolytes like sodium chloride dextrose okay these you have to write it down then what are antidotes as a principle medicinal use of sodium thiosulfide uh, sometimes what they will do they will ask particularly like uh, they write a note on sodium thiosulfide uh, or what are antidotes right principle and assay of any one antidote okay we have to write here what are antidotes first you write then you write some of the example of the antidotes then mechanism you write after that you write sodium thiosulfate mechanism antidote means what they will do just they will deactivate the poison just they will deactivate the poison then what uh, write a note on uh, handling and storage of uh, radioactive materials it is also very important uh, down when I mean five six seven or six seven eight from this question this question will be framed next one what are antimicrobial agent mechanism and preparation of iodine hydrogen peroxide yes antimicrobial agent i have told you then you have to write the mechanism for the antimicrobial agent then iodine strong iodine aqueous iodine or uh, weak iodine anyone then hydrogen peroxide is compulsory then write a note on acidifying agents and catheretics acidifying agents means it is a part it is a session in the gastrointestinal tract okay acidifying agent like best example is dilute hcl okay acidifying agent in our stomach concentrated hcl will be released the ph of that is 1.5 to 2 ph very strong acidic in nature clear then catheretics which catheretics we are using no catheretics means these are the devices catheretics medical medicinal devices you have to write a note on that catheretics basically they are used to treat the constipation okay then go on writing about uh, any one preparation of the catheretics then define isotopes properties of radioisotopes examples and uses of that radioisotopes then what are saline catheretic particularly they have asked saline catheretics now see here they will ask what they have asked here they have they ask only catheretics you can write saline catheretics there don't worry sodium chloride so or uh, yes, sodium chloride it is saline catheretics uh, sodium piscosulfate uh, mechanism you have to write mechanism means just what they are doing they are increasing the water concentration in the colon that colon will uh, get uh, smooth or soft uh, due to the smoothness of the colon what happens uh, what the fecal fecal matter is present in the colon that mixes with the water and it forms a uh, lubricating gel type uh, matter okay that can be easily evacuated from the rectum through the anus okay this you have to write it down mechanism then preparation of any one catheretic you can take any one catheretic and you can write the uh, preparation as a principle for that then write a note on orsl it is also very important oral rehydration salt uh, it is a liquid orsl in powder form also it is available in liquid form also it is available okay you know that electrolyte ors sachet due to to boost uh, to improve the hydration okay if the body is dehydrated then to improve the hydration property to deactivate the dehydrated body to activate to activate our inside body means just we are replacing the chemicals uh, there ions there like sodium potassium chloride citrate okay first you write the composition first you write what is ors then you write composition and a note on that ors where we can use that everything you have to write it down then only you will get five marks yes my dear brothers and sisters these are the 12 five marks questions uh, and uh, the six uh, ten mark question just to practice uh, these uh, these are the enough 18 questions are there practice this these are enough for your examination pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry and compulsory two marks are compulsory with these questions to pass the pic exam 
टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन आर मैंडेटरी क्वेश्चन आई विल एड दोज क्वेश्चन ओके विथ आंसर्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दीज वीडियो ऑफ दिस वीडियो जस्ट गो एंड ऑब्जर्व दैट थैंक यू असलकुम